Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of Does the Acrophobia Skull still work for ODSD on MCC? Now that's available on PC. So, as you guys probably know by now, the Acrophobia Skull was newly added to Halo 3 on MCC when it came out for PC. It was a really awesome skull, and I say it in so many videos, but it's basically the best skull ever in uh, all of Halo. It lets you fly around uh, on demand in campaign, and it's just really awesome. But it was only for Halo 3, so what about other games like ODST? But before we get into that, I want to first announce an awesome giveaway from my sponsor Insta Gaming, where you can win any game of your choice. You can find a link for this giveaway in the description below. So if you want to win the game of your choice, any game at all really, then all you have to do is click on the link below and enter the game you would like to win. You can also click some of the additional blue buttons for more chances to win as well. But that's it. That's all you have to do. And after doing all that, you're entered in the contest to win the game of your choice. But make sure to act fast because this giveaway is for this month only. Alright, so. Officially, Halo 3 ODST on MCC for PC and Xbox does not have the Acrophobia Skull. It's not even there as a locked option. When it came out for Halo 3, it was there, but it was locked. You had to unlock it through like a seasonal challenge. And I think later it was unlocked for everybody, but that's not the case for ODST at all. It is just simply not there. It's not supported officially. Now, if you remember, I also did a video about where you can also unlock the Acrophobia Skull for other games like Halo uh, 1, Halo 2, and even Halo Reach. Now, in the case of Halo Reach, it did not work. It did not do anything. You can still add it to the menu there and start the game up with it, but it just does nothing. But it did work fine in Halo 1 and Halo 2. It actually worked perfectly in those games, and you could, you know, enable this skull just fine using that mod. And if you guys want to try it for yourself, if you uh, never saw that video, I'll post a link to it in the description below so you could uh, check it out yourselves so that you could also um, do the same mod for ODST. So if we do the same mod for ODST, it also adds the skull to the menu just fine. But does it actually work? So, so far, it's only worked for Halo 1, 2, and 3. No reach. And now, with ODST, let's just simply start it up and see if the Acrophobia Skull actually still works or not for ODST at all. So, when I going into this, I pretty much assumed that it would work because um, ODST is, you know, the same engine as Halo 3, and likely, you know, that the, it, it would just work because it's almost the same as Halo 3. And my assumption was, well, it was correct. The Acrophobia Skull, when you enable it with mods this way, does work perfectly fine, just like it does in Halo 3, and by extension, Halo 2 and Halo 1. It, uh, all the controls are the same, you just jump and then hold on the jump button and to keep flying forward, and if you crash into something while going too quickly, you'll just basically splatter yourself. And you can also press the crouch button to uh, freeze yourself in midair to hold yourself in place to hover. But yeah, so the uh, Acrophobia Skull does work just as well in ODST. And on certain maps, you can even get pretty far out to uh, to explore. Like on Upload Preserve, you could skip the uh, the end loading point, the cutscene loading point, and you could fly all the way out here on top of these buildings or even under the map a little bit just to uh, you know do some exploration. So. Overall, it's a really cool school to have in um, ODSC. It's just not, you know, official, officially supported. But using the same mods that uh, we did to enable for Halo 2 and Halo 1, it does work on ODST just fine. That being said, there are limitations on ODST. Not with the skull itself, but with actually ODST itself. Namely, ODST missions, ODST maps, have a lot of barriers on them compared to, you know, plain old Halo 3 and Halo 2 and Halo 1. So, everywhere you go on most maps, most missions, there's a lot of barriers pretty much everywhere. And the uh, the height barrier, the, the ceiling or the sky barrier, whatever you want to call it, that's also, on most missions, it's also very low. So like on Mombasa streets, up the reserve, you won't be able to fly very high unless you got the map first. And, um, there's not... Yeah, like most maps, it's a pretty low ceiling. Um, you might be able to get out on some maps, but then once you get out, there's also like not too many places to explore. And there's also, beyond those soft barriers that you can get around sometimes, there's also death barriers as well. So you are limited to where you can explore on ODST for MCCPC with the Acrophobia Skull, just 
unmodded version. You could, of course, you know, mod the barriers and remove them. And then you, then you could actually explore around and it'd be really cool to explore around. But just, you know, base ODSD unmodded, it's uh, quite a lot of barriers. So it's uh, not as, you can't free, as freely explore. Now, what about Firefight? So Firefight does have skulls as well. However, the skulls menu is different for Firefight on ODSD on MCC. In that it's like a custom game setting. And unfortunately, enabling the Acrophobia skull this way does not work for Firefight. Now, does that mean that it doesn't work at all for Firefight? No. So, I'm not sure if there's another way to enable it for Firefight specifically. If there is, then in theory it should work just fine for a firefight but I, I don't i'm not sure how to do it at the moment now what about other skulls because you know if, if you saw that video about how to add skulls to odst or to add it to other halo games like halo 2 and halo 1 like the acrophobia skull then you probably like figured out that you could also try to add other skulls like the bandana skull so you know, it's definitely like a whole separate video just for Bandana Skull. I'm just going to cover it really quick in this video. As you saw there, I did add the Bandana Skull to the uh, main menu for ODST. And then I enabled it and started the mission. Well, the Bandana Skull, as a lot of people probably ask, does not work on ODST. You can add it to the main menu, but just like with Acrophobia on Halo Reach, the Bandana Skull on ODST does nothing. And it was the same with regular Halo 3 as well. But I did want to cover it because I know I'm probably going to get a few questions about it. So as you can see, the Bandana Skull is activated as well as Acrophobia. Now the Skull are officially supported, but only Acrophobia actually works, whereas Bandana does nothing on ODST and Halo 3. So yeah, there you guys have it. That basically uh, what happens if you enable Bandana on ODST and Acrophobia. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. And like I said, if you do want to try this out yourself and then enable the Acrophobia Skull for ODST, do check out that other video I have with a tutorial for how to do it. But aside from that, like I said, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, anything else you want me to check out or look into, just uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get the chance. But other than that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.